Hello everyone, this is Dee from Academy. This video is about a main theorem related to the continuity and the image of the set. The statement is a function is continuous, a function from x to y, if and only if for each open set that is v in y, the image of v, f inverse of v that is in x is also open. So there are two ways in it. Firstly, we have to know if we know that a function fx to y is continuous and v is open in y. Then we have to show that f inverse of v, that is the image of v, is open in x. And the other way is if we know that v, that is y, that belongs to y, is open and the image of v, f inverse of v, is open in x, then we have to show that the function is continuous. So in this video, we'll focus on the first way and in the next video on the other way. So let's start it. So in the first part, we know that the given thing that we have is the function x to y is continuous and v that belongs to y is an open set. And what we have to prove is the inverse image of v from x is open. So we have two spaces, x and y, and the function is defined from x to y. Now, let's take a point A from X and also assume that A is a part of F inverse of B. There is set F inverse of V that we have to prove that is open. So, we know that if there is a point A in X, then there must be an image of that point A. And it belongs to an open set V. By using the definition of continuity that for each V that belongs to Y and contains the image of A, there exists a U that is open set in X such that U contains the point A. So there must be an open set U that contains the point A in X such that this U the image of that u is a subset of v. So we can write there that a belongs to u and u is a subset of f inverse of v. Why u is in f inverse of v? This is because the definition of the continuity that the image of u is a subset of v. Then the image of v is the superset of u. That is why v, the inverse image of v is the superset of u and now if we recall the definition of an open set then a set let's say a set a is open if we if we are recalling just the definition of open set so if a is a set that contains a point a then this set is said to be open if there exists an open neighborhood of of that point a such that x there is an A point, so A belongs to U and U is a subset of this open U. So U is a subset of A and contains the point. So this, if this situation holds, then we can say that A is open if U is an open set. So here we have recalled the definition of open set. And this is what the definition of an open set. A belongs to U and U is an open set by definition of the continuity. And U is a subset of that set F inverse of V. So this implies that this set is open because it contains the open neighborhood of that point A. So we have proved that if function is continuous, then inverse image of open set is open. So the other part of this theorem will prove in the next video. So this is for now, if you're looking for more such videos, then you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.